Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is the first video in a free course on programming using the Kotlin programming language. This course is aimed at beginners with programming or people who want a slow, steady and detailed introduction to Kotlin. But by the way, I am also planning to make a separate course on Kotlin for Java developers, which will be available on my website caveofprogramming.com in case you want a course that proceeds at a faster pace. In this video, we're going to start off installing an integrated development environment, and we're gonna write a Kotlin Hello World program. This course is gonna focus on the Kotlin language itself. So if you do want to write, for example, Android programs in Kotlin, this is gonna be a good preparation, but the course itself doesn't cover Android. I have a separate course on that. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you need is a IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, where you're going to do your coding. I'm a big fan of Eclipse and you can use Eclipse to do Kotlin programming. You just have to install the free Kotlin plugin from the Eclipse marketplace. But for this course, I'm actually going to use IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition because I think the setup is easier and it is a really nice IDE. If you search for IntelliJ Community Edition, you'll get to this page on jetbrains.com and you'll notice there is a premium IntelliJ idea. We're not going to use that because it costs money. Although I have to say I did use it briefly some years ago and it was hands down the best IDE I've ever used. But a community version which is free is also an extremely good IDE so we're going to use that. That's actually the second link on this page at the moment. So you want to make sure unless you want to pay for it that you're downloading the free community edition of IDEA and not the paid version. Let's download it and install it. Okay, so I've installed IntelliJ as a program, as I know, tend to call it, and I've started it up and it's asking me if I want to import settings. I don't have any settings I want to import, so I'm gonna skip that. Now we can create a new project. Let's click the new project icon. On the left here, I want to select Kotlin and we'll give the project a name. I'm going to prefix this with a number just so that I can keep my projects in order. Let's call this 0010 and hello world. You can just call it hello world or whatever you like. You need to select the location where you're going to put your Kotlin projects. I'm just going to accept the default. You can also accept the default build system. The build system is the thing that turns the code that you write into an actual program that can run. And for Kotlin, it's going to have to do that with the help of a Java development kit because Kotlin runs on something that we call the Java Virtual Machine. So Maven and Gradle are build systems for Java which also work with Kotlin. I'm just going to leave this at the default IntelliJ. I'm going to let the IDE build my program however it wants. Now you need a Java development kit. I'm going to let this download the latest Oracle Open JDK. I don't want sample code in my case and I'm going to leave this use compact project structure turned on. Let's click create. Okay, so that took a minute to finish, but once it did finish, I've got this. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger so it fills the screen. So on the left here, we've got the project browser where we can see the structure of our project. And I'm just gonna create one file here where I can put some code. Let's right click the source folder and go to new Kotlin class slash file. I'm gonna select file here, and I'm just gonna call this main with a lowercase m. Then I'll hit return and we've got a file where we can do some coding. Now, if you are completely new to programming, what I'm gonna type is gonna seem pretty mysterious. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to fully explain what we have to type until you get further along in the course. Eventually, you will understand it all completely. But for the moment, if you're new to programming, the thing is to try this out for yourself, type it out and get it working. That's the crucial thing. A lot of learning to code is really just about typing stuff and practicing it. So I'm going to type fun space main. Let's actually increase the font size a bit here from the view menu. And I can use the shortcut key that we just saw in that menu on my keyboard to make this bigger. Okay. Now after main with no space after it, we need an open and close round bracket. And then we need an open curly bracket and I'm going to hit return. Notice it's put the closing curly bracket in for me. And now I'm going to type print ln. This is short for print line. 
and I can hit return here to accept the suggestion or I can just type the open and close round brackets myself. I'm going to go back into the middle of those brackets, type a pair of speech marks. Notice when I type the opening speech mark, again, the editor automatically puts in the closing speech mark for me. In programming in general, we usually have to go to some trouble to make sure we've got matching pairs of lots of things like brackets and quotes. And then there I'm going to type some text like hello world exclamation mark and I'm going to save that with file save all or whatever the shortcut key is on your system. Now we can click the run button at the top of the editor. If I hover over it it says run main.kt and then we'll see the build system working in the status bar at the bottom and we just have to wait for that. This is the first time I've done this on this computer so it might take a little while. And finally the console opens and you can see the text that I typed here has been output here. So if this is the first computer program you've written then a massive congratulations, this is a big step. We've now got a simple program running in the Kotlin language. This fun keyword is actually short for function. So fun is a keyword, it's part of the Kotlin language in other words. And a function in programming is basically a block of code. By giving this function the special name of main, we've created an entry point for our program. That's the point in your code where the program starts from, essentially. But the thing to do at the moment is don't stress about any of this. Just type this out for yourself and get it working. And eventually you will understand exactly what this is. That's it for this video. Until next time, happy coding.